Hello, Broken Arrow. I'm Assistant City Manager of Operations, Kenny Schwab. Thanks for joining me for the October 2021 edition of Broken Arrow in Motion. October is one of the best months of the year in Broken Arrow. Friday night football, cooler temperatures, and fall foliage. It's also a great time of year for building infrastructure. Let's talk about several projects we are working on around BA. First, I'm happy to announce that the Albany Street Widening Project Phase 1 from 23rd to 37th Street is complete. We built a new bridge and raised the roadway surface by 10 feet in what could be considered a miracle. From the start to finish of construction was less than 90 days. We had to start after the school year of last year and be completed before school year started this August. Special thanks to our engineering construction team, the Streets and Stormwater Department and TriStar Construction for completing this project in record time. Another street widening project on New Orleans from Olive to Aspen is also nearing completion. The contractor is finishing the sidewalks, grading and stabilizing the drainage ditches and finishing the storm sewers. Once this operation is complete within the next couple of weeks, the asphalt crews will move back onto site. They'll begin milling the street, patching and installing three lanes of surface course. Street signage and striping will follow with project completion expected in November. Now let's talk about the facilities projects and we will start with the ribbon cutting ceremony on Neen House Skate Park. We've added over 16,000 square feet, doubling its original size to now more than 30,000 square feet. Before starting the skate park design, the city collaborated with local skaters through surveys and public forums to get their input. The result is a street and plaza style design added to the existing bowl and ramp style park. Neen House Skate Park is one of the most popular recreational sports area in Broken Arrow, and I'm confident its popularity will only continue to grow because of its additional space and design. Magnum Construction has completed the clearing, forming, and placement of the foundations for steel silhouettes for Mission 22, the War at Home Memorial. They also have started placement of the site concrete for the decorated sidewalks and bench pads. Irrigation and landscaping site work has also begun. Within the next 30 days, the contractor should complete the site work for concrete and the placement of the decorative pavers throughout. The memorial consists of 20 steel plates set in granite and features silhouettes of American veterans who lost their battle to suicide. These 20 men and women are representative of the veterans we are losing every day to post-traumatic stress disorder. The memorial will be set in Veterans Park on Main Street. Also on Main Street in the Rose District, the Round Kimbrough Center for Arts, Innovation and Creativity is well on its way. The building is dried in, meaning the rain will stay out. The contractor's crews are working on completing exterior metal panels, brick, and mortar. Interior finishes are well underway, and the center is on schedule to be completed by the end of the year. Just down Main Street, the contractor has completed all the underground utility work, concrete slab, and the structural steel framing on the senior center annex. The roofing is also complete, and crews are currently working on the exterior of the building. They are also working on the interior framing and electrical and mechanical installations. The site work for the parking lot is well underway and the grading and subgrade modifications nearing completion. They should start paving the parking lot next month. Just around the corner from the Senior Center Annex, Fire Station No. 7's interior is quickly nearing completion. The mechanical, electrical, plumbing, interior finishes, and flooring are roughly 95% complete. The initial furnishing, fixtures, and equipment for the day-to-day -day operation of the station are now arriving. In the coming weeks, the contractor will install the asphalt, and then the parking lot will be finished as well. That's it for this month's edition of Broken Arrow in Motion. Thanks for watching, Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives. Thank you for watching. This is a production of the City of Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives.